God lives and works today. We can see proof of His reality especially when we look at the body of Christ. It is made up of such different kinds of people. And yet, like the members of a physical body, they are all joined together and united in love. However, what if this isn't the case? What if there are grievous tensions among the believers and within the congregations? Listen to the following meditation by Basilea Schlink called I Don't Need You. In the twelfth chapter of First Corinthians, the Apostle Paul writes about the unity of the body of Christ. He paints a wonderful picture for us, describing how Jesus is the head of the body and we are the different members. In a world so filled with hatred and opposition, isn't it tremendous that there can be unity, such as Paul describes? What characterizes this miraculous work of God through which we can become one body in Christ? The answer is in 1 Corinthians 12:21. Paul explains that no part of the body can say to the other part, I don't need you. How does this apply to our lives? Do we say or think about someone else at home, at work, or in our congregation, I don't need you? I'm really happier when you're not around. It's uncomfortable for me when you come to work. Furthermore, it's humiliating to meet you because once you told me the truth and hurt my feelings, or you did such and such to me. Whoever tolerates such thoughts and touchiness in his heart is hindering, yes, destroying the miraculous unity of the body of Christ. When one person says or thinks about another, I don't need you, he is demonstrating how highly he thinks of himself. The secret and beauty of a body is that each member supplements the others, and they have all grown and developed together. It is the Holy Spirit who has created the body of Christ. Why don't we trust Him to be able to unite us with those who are hard for us to get along with? Let us ask Him. O oh, Holy Ghost, I believe you, that you will give me love, love that reaches out to others and can honestly say to the person who is difficult, I do need you. You are the person whom I want to meet often. Yes, the Holy Spirit can accomplish this when we ask Him for this love. Dear Lord, let me become like you. Bring love in me to birth, spending my life. You've been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. If this program has been a help to you, we would be happy to send you a free leaflet by the same author. Please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street. Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.